Hello traders, welcome to another weekly market overview. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil. So let's dig in. Hi guys, my name is Pierre and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you growing your trading account and making you a better trader. Each week I upload at least one video to help traders out. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's take a look at the Dixie. We are on the weekly time frame, and uh, as you see, guys, we are at um, important level. I mentioned this level before many times, and there we are yet again here, testing this area. The dollar been bearish last week, as you see. We had a um, drop back down to this support daily time frame. Uh, it bounced a little bit, but that was not much to. Um, to see as a possible reversal so uh, we're still uh, looking at this area of um, support here to see if uh, the dollar gonna break this level and continue to the downside or not but keep in mind it is a very important level so if uh, this get broken as you see there is not much on the on the way to hold as support so yet again another area that we should as first uh, see as a potential support level and uh, possibly a bounce who knows we may end up uh, getting some kind of range like this next week inside this area so it is a level to watch so the main reason we look at the Dixie is just to know the overall um, direction of the dollar and uh, that's why I use always to look at that first so next market is uh, oil and uh, as you see guys we're still inside uh, this range here on oil um, this is the range I'm talking about and still nothing has happened since uh, a couple of weeks ago and I will keep telling you the same guys there is nothing else to do here until we have a break to the downside that would signal potential continuation toward this area down here yeah so as far as there is no break we may end up uh, going uh, sideways uh, yet again inside the upper range so for next week we're gonna have the same plan I will not uh, sit here and uh, rant a lot about this you wait for a potential support here or you wait to sell if the level reached that top that's it uh, otherwise if we got a break to the downside that would be retest and potential continuation because if we look left there is not much on the way until we reach these levels down here so pretty straightforward here wait for the breakout or trade inside the upper range on uh, oil gold failed to break a new high so there was an attempt last week to break this previous area they failed and the price pushed back down to the downside so we're still um we still uh, see that uh, the bears are pushing back the bulls have been trying the bears pushing back here we had the potential break to the downside after this um uh, sequence of um uh, attempt to break higher but they failed again then they broke here and yet again they could not break the uh, major swing high so i'm watching here to see if we're gonna have some kind of break to the downside if that would be the case and we see a break of this structure here i'm looking at potential continuation to the downside on gold for more upside i want to see gold breaking above this previous high if that would be the case then we look for continuation if we see a break above this previous high as for now and as you saw last week they failed to break about that that's why we need to wait for those confirmation to happen first EURUSD also been bullish uh, still trading inside this channel so uh, after this uh, swing uh, to the downside we start seeing uh, euro channeling to the upside inside this channel and uh, yeah we still uh, look at the same level this area up here gonna be a um, pretty interesting level because um, as we mentioned earlier uh, we had this uh, fail to break higher here and the price broke this structure and this structure as well and we uh, still looking for potential trouble at this level here so keep playing that uh, channel for now as you see it is bouncing at this channel at the moment uh, each time we got a retest of that area and uh, for next week any retest to these levels that give us bearish evidence we might see a bounce back down 
on uh, Euro USD. So keep playing that channel for now until we have some kind of a breakout. I mean, if the bulls really gonna continue this move, they have to break above all these previous highs to then look for continuation. So this area here is very, very important now. And as far as there is no break above that, it is to the downside in my opinion. Sterling USD, this one been uh, very bullish uh, last Wednesday. We saw a break above previous high, a very strong move to then reach another level of interest looking left. Here we see this area been acting as a strong resistance, especially here when the price did this whole dip during the um, um, worst time of coronavirus uh, in Mars. And uh, yeah, the price did reach that level, uh, halted a bit and start correcting to the downside. So after this break to the upside now, we're gonna watch this 1.300 as a potential support area for maybe a continuation to the upside. So this is the level I'm watching here. As for now, this is the range 1.300 uh, as potential support. And up here we have a potential resistance at this uh, level uh, on this market now if they break back below this and give us another lower high then we potentially going for yet another move toward the bottoms uh, down here at around the yearly pivot point usd jappy broke to the downside so we've been talking about uh, 106 as resistance was 105 as support and now the 105 got broken strongly after this uh, impulse we had this correction that broke and after this break of the flag we knew that there was potential continuation toward 105 i mentioned that last week but the market kept pushing and pushing and broke all the way below 105 as well so as far as the price is below 105 that area gonna be a potential sell level so watch this area for potential sells on uh, usd jappy guys it's gonna be a very important level yeah usd chief back at the sport looking at the daily time frame and again on the weekly time frame it's it looks scary guys uh, for the bulls because if this got broken if we look left there is not much on the way here so the bulls really need to defend it because it is game over if they break below this level there is as i said nothing to hold um, until we start reaching these areas down here so it's gonna be an interesting level to watch the price still pushing to the downside we still have this these wicks down here as the last line of defense so keep an eye on this area where the price is testing right now gonna be very very interesting to see if uh, the bulls will defend this level for another bounce or not so what i will do on this level i will just keep watching for now uh, waiting for some evidence is it a potential reversal uh, signal or we see a continuation for uh, the bears pressure usd cat back down this trade stopped me out i was looking for um something like this last week so after the break to the upside here we were looking for a retest and continuation so uh, i took the trade somewhere here on the um, one hour time frame but the price did just one bounce to the upside to then go back down and stop me out so now retest of potential support area i'm still seeing this level as uh, potential support and the key support is a little bit lower if we look on the daily time frame that is the key support we're gonna see if this upper level gonna hold for now or not and if it does not hold we look at this support down here to see if there is any uh, potential uh, bullish uh, momentum happening so at the moment keep an eye on this support as far as this down here is holding we may end up getting another bounce toward yearly pivot point so i will be watch that as first Aussie USD also uh, bouncing back up so still inside this um, little range down here as you see we're talking about this range so the price did bounce back up here on uh, Aussie USD still going a little bit of a range here breaking a little bit below this support to then find support down here instead broke back up and um, start giving us higher highs and higher lows so as for now, as far as the price is holding above this level, this could be potential support next week for another bounce toward monthly pivot point up here. So if we go down to the one hour time frame, we see it pre pretty clear. We broke higher, 
retest did hold another retest hold and then start moving to the upside breaking previous highs so key support for now is this area down here as far as this holding as support could be potential buys otherwise a break below it will send us back down toward this area once again new zealand usd also pushing strongly to the upside here last week but all in all we look at it at this like this it is still going sideways ranging there is no daily close above this previous high as you see here we never closed above it there was an attempt to, to break above it but the close went back inside the range so uh, still unclear what will happen here and we do have a bearish divergence on the four hour time frame there is potential that you see one more leg to the downside on this market so as far as there is no break above this previous high the next move gonna be to the downside but if they break and hold manage to hold above it especially a daily close above this level that would signal continuation uh, to the upside so it is a potential breakout to happen here on this market guys um, I uploaded a video about uh, breakout last week. I will put it after this here. So that was it for today, guys. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to hit that like button and see you next week. Bye bye.